Hi, welcome to my reaction video to Dark Season 2, Episode 3, titled Ghosts. And it scored 9.2 on IMDb. All the scores this season have been amazing. They've all been over 9, if I'm, if I'm correct. But if they aren't, then maybe one of them is 8.8 .8 or something. Very, very high scores. I've been loving the season so far. I'm excited to get into this episode. Some, some, a, few, a few remarks I want to make. First is, for the time being, I'm, I'm going to settle in on German being the language. There was some question in my mind whether I was going to play it in English or German. And there are pros and cons to both. The biggest pros and the biggest reason for me to do it in German is the acting is leagues better than the English dub. So I would prefer to stick with that. And second reason is I have a, a, a substantial now number of, of German fans or, or German, German viewers, I guess is the better word, who, who are watching my reaction video. So I think that, that it's better just to do it in the language that uh, a good number of the viewers are, who are watching the program are familiar with. So if this were an English program, there'd be no question it'd be in English. It's a German program. There should be no question I should play it in German with with English subtitles. And then the, the last thing I want to mention is I'm just very grateful for the reception this is getting so far. And it's, it's not just about a large number of views, at least for me, but it's also about the, the really thoughtful remarks and encouragement that I'm getting. And I really appreciate that. And it's nice to, to find people who, who really want to discuss in depth the, the matter of the show, the, the plot, and then the process, the direction and the writing. So I'm, I'm very happy and very grateful to all the people who have, have been watching so far. Thank you for, for joining me uh, as, as a, through my series of reaction videos. A little difficult to say. Sometimes it's hard to say the good things. Isn't that kind of weird? It, it's hard to say the bad things, but I think sometimes it can be more difficult even, even to say the good things. So I, I hope you can understand my little my little nervousness there. Okay, so that's it. Uh, please join me after the introduction and we will get into the my reaction for Dark Season 2, Episode 3, Ghosts. Someone's being a little creepy. Helga, right, so we got Helga, Helga and Noah. Wait, where did Helga get that from, the coin? Did he get that coin from, from Ulrich? I feel like that coin was significant. I'm sure it was in an earlier episode. That Martha, Martha, right? Martha? Wait, are we in the past? That's Martha. Martha. That's gotta be Martha. No, it's not Martha. Wait. The heck is going on? Right, Doris. Right. Yeah, Aegon's wife. They hinted at this in the season one, the end. And that is Agnes. And she talked about her husband getting into God and leaving her, being a priest, I think. So, I know on Reddit, there is the speculation that Noah was her husband. Just going back in time. Some errands 33 years in the past. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Ugh. Is that going to know his wife's cheating on him now? Sure, it looks like a guy that does knows that his wife's cheating. Perspective of that's kind of weird. This must be a wide angle lens because that phone looks too large here. Oh yeah, like nothing like a little bit of misogyny to bring men together. That was sarcasm, by the way. Oh, oh, what's going on? Whoa. Oh, oh, she's got to know something's up. She's 
She didn't even hug her back. Yeah, that's that's a damaged relationship there. We haven't seen Claudia and Regina together hardly at all throughout this series. <laughs> so that whole thing about are you into Satanism has paid off. There was a, there was a deeper meaning to it rather than just being a joke. He's always trying to question Helga, and Helga's always turning him down. Oh, you don't don't say. Boy comes back with half of his face burned off and doesn't say why. It's probably something odd in his background. Hey, it's really nice. Where she's framed in the door and then the the the, the length of the lens makes her seem so small. It almost sounds like a kind of riddle about time. So we're back into like mythology again. This feels oh, never mind. I was gonna say it feels like the scene in episode four when what's her head goes wandering off into the forest and, and meets Noah, like the little red riding hood. Well, Elizabeth does. So is she a time traveler? Is she, is she related to Noah? Oh what I was not expecting that. Oh 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 Okay, so not the wife of Noah, but the daughter? Is that Noah's daughter? Brother. Uh -huh. So didn't she talk about her husband leaving her? It was a priest? Was she really talking about her brother? Was her brother her husband? That'd be, that'd be just par for the course for the show. But she must already know if that works out between her mother and her, right? They do, they run off together, right? So then she must be the reason that prompts the two to run off together. They don't call me. But her eyes. Right. So then homochromia would be for same color eyes. Because chroma, chromo is color, homo is same, and hetero would be different. Creator. Sick Mundus Creatus Est. That's got, that can't be a real band. Or it could be, but I don't... I kind of got the feeling it's not. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, he's really good. This is really good acting from him. He wrote the book because Claudia gave him the book? Sick creatus uh, mundus des. Out of nothing is something. So yeah, we've got these paradoxes that are created out of nothing. If he's going back to talk to Ulrich, what information is he going to get? Because we already know he doesn't get curious about this until he gets older. Or is there someone else? The madman has to be Ulrich. So you got. You've got Aegon, Aegon visiting Ulrich. Two different periods in this episode. Did he travel through a year through time? Did he jump ahead a year in time? And by he, I mean Helga. I don't see what the point of that was, other than telling Ulrich that Helga... Other than telling telling Ulrich that Helga's still alive. Yeah, the older right, the older version of Claudia told him what to expect when the younger version came. You're talking to the wrong one. You're talking to the devil about the devil's business. Hey, we come runter, here's someone that sprechen möchte. He's being a real detective now, for the for the first time. Uh, <coughs> I got a reaction. 
There's no way he talks to Mikhail. Feels like a setup. Like she's setting him up for something. Wait, what? Claudia? Is she gonna be the one that destroys his life? So he must find out today his wife is leaving him. Boy, Aegon's really traveling around. Aegon and Claudia are so important in this episode. That's getting me in the feels. Hmm. He's telling her the words that she will say later. When was he ever one of her pawns? Wait, what? So she gave that to her, telling her that she would send Claudia to her death, I'm guessing. Because that's what the clipping was for. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what the scheme is here. So now he gets the pages he needed because he killed Claudia. And it was Claudia's intention he get those. But why? You remember, he, he gives the, the watch to Elizabeth that he claimed belonged to Charlotte. I knew that was a thread we'd come back to again, but what is Charlotte's connection to, to Noah? So he's lying about that. Who, who, who was Helga's wife that had the children with him? We don't know that. That's a mystery. Because Elizabeth had the different, the, the, the hetero-colored eyes, and Claudia had the hetero-colored eyes. So is there, is Elizabeth the, well, now I'm really confused. Is Elizabeth the granddaughter of, of Claudia? It could be, because who is Regina's father? We don't know that either. Was it, Claudia, 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 did Claudia? Boy, I'm really lost. So the one that gets with the stranger, that is Regina, right? Yeah, Regina gets with Alexander. Alexander's the stranger with the past. We don't know where he came from. And so there's a chance that Alexander's a time traveler. But I don't see how he connects to this mystery of who Helga's wife was. Or who was the father of Regina. Those things have never been explained to us. And the biggest mystery to me is the hetero-colored eyes, heterochromatic. That must somehow tie Elizabeth to Claudia. That's not an accident. All right, well, that was my reaction to this video. Come back in a second, and I will watch the episode again and then read some, some criticism and think a little more, and so maybe I'll have some theories about where the show is going. Okay, join me in a second. Welcome back. Closer. Welcome back. I've watched the episode a second time, and I've read some criticism. And I'm going to make my comments on this episode short, shorter than, than usual. The one, I guess, textual thing I want to comment on is just the way that every episode brings the hint or the flat-out revelation that a character is connect, one character is connected to another. And it, uh, I saw this comment on Reddit, and I'm, I, I agree. It feels like at the end... The, the showmakers are going to try to connect every character in one big incestuous mess. And it does seem that Noah now, in this episode, is the connector. And that perhaps he is the father of Charlotte. Because again, I commented during my re reaction to the episode that he gave... Was it a watch? I think he gave a watch. Charlotte, either with Charlotte's name on it or, or some quote from Charlotte uh, to to Elizabeth, I believe. 
to, I have the character list right here, to, yeah, to Elizabeth. And then the thing about the eyes, the, uh, the chromatic, was the heter heterochromatic, the heterochromatic eyes, because I didn't notice this in season one. I'm assuming it was there, and they, they, they shot it in a way that it was never really apparent. But we have the two characters that have the hetero heterochromatic eyes. We have Claudia and Elizabeth. And we have... Oh, so yeah, so one theory is that Charlotte... Uh, maybe Noah and Charlotte got together and created Elizabeth. And then there's also a chance Claudia and Helga got together because we don't know much about the person who was Claudia's husband. And we don't know who the, was the wife with Helga that he got Peter from. So there, <laughs> there, there are all these mysteries about how these characters are related that are going to be revealed and probably those revelations are going to show that the characters are related and, and not unrelated like a normal town would be. And then, so the second thing I wanted to comment on was extra, extra textual, inter, intra, I guess intra textual. And that is, there's this, this saying that they've been, that's been going on in Dark where one character, I think first one that said it was Ulrich, old Ulrich, said everyone gets what they deserve and apparently this is this is a, a common quote in german uh my my looking for it uh julie did i erase i just wrote it down and it looks like i erased it on my iphone while in the middle of talking i can't believe i didn't save that but <laughs> apparently this quote i can't believe i erased that oh my god I typed it up on iPhone. I raced it while talking. All right, I've got it here. There are many video, uh, many songs, many videos in German with this title. So that's how I know that it's quite common. And I'm sure the pronunciation, my pronunciation is going to be off. But I did listen to a song to try to check how this is pronounced. Jeder Krik was ad verdient. Which again, I believe means you. everyone gets what they deserve. And to me... The fact you get these characters saying it, and, and the fact that you have some characters trying to right the ship and undo all this messed up shenanigans that time paradoxes are creating, it says to me that at its center, I believe Dark is a moral show. It's not, it's not nihilistic. And if it is nihilistic, it's at least giving 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 question to whether this can be a moral universe because you have the idea that people are going to get the things coming to them if they do well they will get well and if they do poor if they do bad things they will get bad things and even someone like the character of uh, Aegon whose daughter Claudia tells him in this world some good people get bad things and they get they get too much bad done to them, more than they deserve. But in the end, you know, even Aegon's not innocent because he sent an innocent man, Ulrich, to to the madhouse for murders he didn't commit. He did he did try to do attempted murder, but he he did not kill anyone. And so sending him so and so Aegon has that the fact that he put an innocent person behind behind bars for more than thirty years. So. I guess what I'm getting at is maybe there is a sense of justice. It's not this show. It's not purely nihilistic. And the fact that we get these scenes like when Aegon tells Claudia that he is he's dying of cancer and, and Claudia, who had been giving him the brush off, telling him, even though you're my father, you got to make that appointment to see me. She She is stunned. And then we see that sort of mask drop away and she relates to her father in a more human way. So the fact that they, if the showrunners give us this scene, I think, shows us that, again, at its heart, this is a moral show. Now, maybe I'm wrong. It could be that this ends up at the, at the conclusion in a darkly ironic way. But I don't know. I kind of got the feeling it's not. That anything bad that happens will be just. And if it isn't, that it will somehow there will be vengeance for that action. That's, that's my intuition. All right, so that's all I got for Dark Season 2, Episode 3, titled Ghosts. 
and I hope you'll join me for my reaction video to episode four. Until next time, take care and be well. Goodbye.